Hey, all you viewers to be named later. How are we doing today? I know, as you can see by that big old red package, especially with that thumbnail and everything else you clicked on to get here today, we're going to take a look at the Kershaw Electron. All right, there's the back of the little wonderful package, but still, we'll get there in a moment. Okay, here is the blade. Now, a little bit ago, I brought another one of those wonderful little plastic blades from the Project Atom series to the channel, and I promised you I'd be looking into more. Well, this is part of the product Project Atom series. Basically, their whole big thing is to make really fancy individual little fixed blade knives that are basically plastic. That's the only way I can put it. There's no edge whatsoever. No edge. But it's got a really, really sharp pointy tip. Okay. I mean, that's basically what it's designed for, is to just get in and stab. Well, I mean, it's not really penetrating, but you know what I mean. And did I just bend it? Oh, my God, I did. Can, can, can you see that right there? <laughs> Thank God I didn't pay a lot of money for this thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so that blows that thing from Blade HQ out of the water. I'll get there in a moment. But this is a callback to those um, sleeve daggers that agents used to carry during World War II. So I thought that was a neat little throwback kind of thing. I just really can't get over it. The tip bent just by that little bit. Oh, my God. All right, let's get into the stats and the fun stuff like we usually do on these things. Overall, it's got a length of 5.10 inches. The blade's about 2.4. I don't know why they call it a cutting surface, because there is no cutting edge on this thing. But they say it's 2.2 inches. Yeah, 2.22 inches. The handle's about 2.70, and it has basically no weight to it. 0 0.30 ounces. Very lightweight. You're going to forget you're carrying it. You're going to forget it's there. Now, it is done in, you know, um, a fixed blade dagger style, which I do like the really weird false edge up there that leads to nowhere. You've got jimping, but it's so small. I mean, it's, it's almost like you're carrying a neck knife as a fixed blade up your sleeve, and that's the only way I can put it. <sighs> it says plain edge. I don't know why there's no edge. We have a black finish, as you can see, and this is something that I like. They molded it over the steel plate. So you really can't remove it like I have done in other plastic blades that I own and I'll be bringing to the channel. So it's always there. So I think that's a really, really good thing. A little lanyard hole. And it is a um, basically a glass reinforced nylon construction. It's a Papa Alpha 66 GFN construction. You can carry it left, right hand style. It is made in China. Now, this is what I've been laughing about. I've never noticed this before, but over on Blade HQ, they have a new little area thingy in their stat profile, and it says best use. Blade HQ said the best use for this thing is, you know, tactical or everyday carry. Well, I just just proved that by slightly just tapping the plastic freaking package. I mean, look. You can see it right there, real clear. Okay. So, I don't feel the need to do any cutting tests or bring out Mr. Ratchet Strap because it's not really designed for that, and we just saw it fail on plastic. So, we're going to skip all that fun stuff, okay? Now, I did the homework on January 13th, 2023, which conveniently is the same day I am filming this video. I looked over on Amazon Kershaw and Blade HQ. Amazon, where I purchased it, $12.87, it is Prime eligible. Kershaw, $11.99, Blade HQ, $11.95. It has yet to be reviewed on Blade HQ, eight times on Kershaw for a 4 out of 5 star rating, and 25 times for a 3.7 out of a 5 star rating on Amazon. Now, we're at the most important part of this video for me. Oh my god, I can already hear the laughter and the fun stuff in the comments, but I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, anger. 
all that fun stuff right down below in the comment section. And I forgot to do this in my last one, probably because it had been half a year since I've done a Blade review. I can't wait for this. Do you think the Electron is a noise or an F-bomb? Noise or an F-bomb? Glad I didn't pay a lot for it because a little bit of timping has happened. You can see it. It bent the tip. <laughs> God. Oh, still. Like I said, I, I promised you guys I would bring more from that series to the channel, and yeah. Neat little collectible. To me, it's not much use for anything else. Now, if it made you laugh, made you cringe, made you cry, made you do any of that during this video, and I bet I made someone laugh out there, Bill Rivers, especially with bending the tip right at the beginning of the video, please give me that big old thumbs up. It's only going to show love and support for the channel, and that is always appreciated. But there we go, guys. My quick look at the Kershaw Electron. I want to thank all of you for watching this video. I hope you're having a great day, a safe day, and I'll see all of you, especially you back there in the corner, in our very next video.